नमस्ते दिस इज ओमकार वर्ल्ड हियर वन ऑफ द चेंज मेकर ऑफ दिस इयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री सो बिफोर मूविंग अहेड आई वुड लाइक टू से सॉरी इन फ्रंट ऑफ ऑल चेंजेस ऑन द बिहॉप ऑफ ऑल द मिलीनियर्स और दो जो आर बॉर्न फ्रॉम नाइनटीन सेवेंटी टू एटी बट वाई आई एम सॉरी टू ऑल द चेंजेस लेट डिस्कस इन दिस वीक सो वाइल I was working in this water sector. I have been working in this water sector from last three to four years. But whatever I have gathered, whatever I have realized, that water is very, very scarce to us. We all know that water is scarce to us, but we are not very serious on this thing. So I would like to present to some figures or some uh, numbers to give you the seriousness on this issue. We all know that. we do have only 3 3% fresh water available with us uh in uh, earth ecosystem but from that 3% 2.5% is not for useful for us why it is not useful for us because that is uh, locked uh, into the uh, let's say glaciers or polar ice caps or uh, that water is very uh, contaminated so we can't simply use it so how much water uh, we do have in our hand only 0.5% that is we can use but what is the meaning of this 0.5% uh i, I will give you one example uh, let's say that if we have total 100 liters of water uh, in earth uh then we can consume only one tablespoon of water yes my dear student one tablespoon of water that is 0.003 liters so this is how water scarce scarcity I would like to give you one another example of water scarcity, which uh, I had experienced during my Rajasthan days. Uh, I and my uh, Kepolo was doing some survey, uh, and we saw one lady uh, who 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 was uh, trying to soak one uh, what we can say uh, handkerchief, which was very smelly. And my Kepolo asked her why it is very dirty and smelly. Why don't you just wash it? So she told us uh, one story that. If you wash this cloth, which uh, she often used for menstrual cycle, so if she wash that cloth, then she will uh, ultimately use one mug of water max to max. But if she save that one mug of water, she can have her evening meal uh, from that water. So this is how trade off uh, of water for us. Either she will wash that cloth, or either she will cook her evening meal. So this is how water scarce is, my dear students. So we need to really careful on our action that how it is impacting uh, water, uh, what we can say, uh, water bodies or water, uh, basically uh, water systems. Now coming on the uh, water ecosystem. So before coming into the water ecosystems, why are we really? bothers about this water ecosystems why are we actually discussing this so we all know that these aquatic species uh, or aquatic organism plays a very important role uh, to maintain the nutrition cycle which ultimately consumes the uh, uh, organic matter or what we can say this filter out the particles and contaminants and then uh, this uh, filtration keeps water alive and healthy and ultimately since water is healthy we are healthy and we already uh, discussed that how fresh water is very scarce so if we try to uncontaminate or filter this water this is ultimately getting uh, uh, what we can say this is ultimately help to us only but uh, action impacts this ecosystems or aquatic species i would like to present some numbers in front of you uh to tell you the seriousness about uh, everyday action like uh, let's say uh, uh, there was one study which i had come across that near about 1000 children uh, uh, per day uh, dies in india uh, due to consumption of uh, polluted water lot of aquatic species are in endangered uh, due to uh, human intervention as compared to the terrestrial animals but are we really responsible for this unfortunately yes we are very responsible for this and how i will i will tell you 
I would like to tell you some uh, everyday activities that affects this ecosystems or uh, that alters the chain of uh, chain of ecosystem uh, uh, and therefore uh, affect the what we can say water body. Uh, there was one study uh, which tells that 80 percent of water pollution is caused due to uh, uh, domestic sewerage or what we can say. Uh, domestic waste uh, which directly gets into the uh, open areas uh, or the vicinity of water bodies and some marine species some marine species consumes microbits which we often found in let's say uh, toothpaste uh, which uh, they mistakenly consume uh, 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 due to uh, what we can say they assume it as a food and they do just consume it and diet uh, microplastic which we found in a face wash that ultimately reached to the water body and this impact to the reproduction reproductive systems of the uh, aquatic species. On an average we human being consumes 40 grams per day in our everyday activities uh, 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 40 grams of chemicals in our everyday activities which ultimately uh, goes into the local knowledge this local knowledge further means into the river river means into the uh, sea or coastal parts. So these 40 grams of chemicals by consumption by consuming directly or indirectly throughout uh, uh, everyday activities we are affecting the ecosystems. I always uh, share one example or share one figures with my friends that per capita detergent consumption in India uh, is approximately 2.7 kg per year. Yes my dear friend 2.7 kg per year. This is only about detergent. This is how uh, we are really uh, releasing a uh, lot of chemicals into the river body and which ultimately affects the water's body. And due to this entire ecosystems or aquatic species are in a very endangered. And since these species are very endangered, entire aquatic systems is getting collapsed and therefore uh, healthy water is getting affected. And therefore, our uh, changes future lives are in very danger. That's why I'm very sorry, my dear friend. So, if we work collectively or if we work on our everyday activity or if we have very nuanced approach uh, to this everyday activity, we can definitely save this issue. That's it. That's it, my dear friend. Thank you so much.